Okay, welcome to my workshop. My name is Samesh and I'm going to be doing a just like a mini lesson on creating an idea. So, you know, obviously this might be your first virtual hackathon that you've ever gone to and you might be really confused on what's happening right now. Well, if you're watching this video, you know, you're already a step ahead of the competition because I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of how to create the best idea for your uh, project and I'm just going to get straight into it. So by, you know, you can take notes by watching this video and hopefully it will help you uh, create your own idea. And by the end of this video, you'll have something to work on with your team. All right, so let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing that we wanna keep in mind when actually determining an idea for your project is to always aim to solve a problem. And a part of the rubric, if you have read the rubric, which is really important to do as of right now, is to, you know, make sure that your product or solution or prototype or whatever you're making is solving some sort of problem because hackathons are always forward thinking events that aim to you know fix things in the present and in the future so if you're able to connect to a global or even better a local issue it's going to really resonate well with the judges so you know an issue can like include like mental health uh poverty racism like a bunch of other stuff that's happening right now and the more relevant that your issue is the, you know the more you know, important and more impactful your uh, product is going to be. And once you have this issue, you want to determine who's actually getting affected by this problem. So if you can list out all of like the stakeholders or like the, the people who are actually facing this problem, then you're able to narrow down your target market on who you're going to be selling this product to, who you're going to be selling your idea to, whether it's like an app or a physical product. And then you want to ensure that whatever your product's going to be, whatever your idea is, that the people are going to be able to get solutions from your product. You know, it can't just be something that that's there. It actually has to interact with people and actually, you know, give them advice, whether, you know, whether it's advice or even like an actual solution to, you know, combat any, whatever problem that you selected. So I follow the acronym um, SLAT, which is S-L-A-T-T, and you can follow this acronym to really make sure that your project is unique and stands out from the rest of everybody else's. And you know, if your project um, does meet all of these requirements, then I strongly believe that you have a really good chance of winning and you have a really strong hackathon project. So I'm gonna be running through each of these, but basically what SLAT stands for is, it stands for simple, loud, authentic, theme relevant, and tech relevant. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your idea is simple. You want to stick to basically one main idea and don't try to solve everything. For example, one time I went to a hackathon uh, like two years ago and the theme was basically on sustainable smart cities and a bunch of groups wanted to, you know, combat different problems in sustainable smart cities. For example, like parking, you know, transportation and a bunch of stuff, but really all you want to do is narrow down on one specific issue. Your your product has to have one main idea, whether it's like parking, mental health, some sort of chat feature, whatever your main feature is, that's what it has to be. It can't just be an app that solves as many problems as possible because it is a uh, quality over quantity. So that's why it kind of leads on to the next point of like, you know, have a core aesthetic rather than just a bunch of unorganized ideas. So if you have like a main mission or a main goal, it will make it a, a really easier. And don't try to overcomplicate any code or features in your app. Just make it so it's really easy to understand by the judges and by literally someone who might not know anything about technology. So someone who you know just knows how to work an iPhone, they should be able to just pick up your app and use it right away. So the more simple it is, uh, the better it is. And you also wanna make sure your product is loud. And what I mean by this is you wanna make sure that your idea is bold and unique. You wanna make sure that no one else is doing it in the competition or even in the real world as well. So, you know, if, if you are thinking about your product and you have a certain idea, you wanna, you know, think, does something like that already exist in the world? And you might have to do like a Google search or like your own research about this. And if it does already exist, then like, why would you do the same thing, right? So you wanna make sure that you're as unique as possible. And once you're able to find a product that is simple, and unique at the same time, you already have a really good chance of having a really, really strong uh, product. The last thing is also you want to make sure that it's authentic. So don't copy off of something that already exists and try to add your own unique uh, touch to it. 
If you have a, your own personal connection to the issue that you're going to be describing or solving, then you know make sure to mention it in your video because that would be a really good personal touch that gets the judges to like your project even more. And you know if you are able to have a personal connection with what you're creating, then you know you're gonna obviously do better when you're actually making it the prototype and stuff like that too. And also, and another important thing is you want to make sure that it's theme relevant. So the theme for this hackathon is emerging tech. So make sure that you're not straying away from this topic and always try to find ways to mention this theme in both the product and the video. So you can kind of keep emphasizing the fact that, you know, your product is emerging tech. It uses a bunch of emerging tech or it's um, helping solve an issue that's correlated with emerging tech, stuff like that. So always try to bring back the theme in whatever ways you can. And the more you're able to connect it to the theme, the more you're able to you know, showcase to the judges, showcase to other people that you understand what is required of you, which just makes the rubric uh, marking process so much more easier for everybody. And they'll, they'll be able to you know, clearly see that you're sticking to the theme. And another thing that you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you're uh, tech relevant as well. So for this hackathon, since the theme is emerging tech, it kind of goes hand in hand, right? Like if you're following the theme, then obviously you're going to be following uh, the tech side as well. So just do some research on emerging technology and try to explain how your product is tech driven and how uh, it uses certain technology. Even if you might not understand it or might not actually know how to use it. For example, um, AI, artificial intelligence or blockchain or, or you know something like API or something. You might not know how to actually do any of this stuff and that's totally fine as long as you're able to explain it you know you just have some basic knowledge on it then you can connect it to your product and tell the judges like hey our product does this because it uses ai or it, it does this because it uses this and you know the more you're able to connect it the more you're able to show that you know more stuff about tech so by combining all of these different things you can really ensure that your product is going to be you know as theme relevant as possible, as authentic as possible, as loud as possible, simple, and as tech relevant as possible. So just for some inspiration, so uh, I participated in a lot of hackathons before and you know the main thing that I'm usually in charge of when in my group is coming up with the ideas, which is why I made this workshop. So here's just some inspiration that you can use for certain themes. So for the one that I mentioned before, uh, smart sustainable cities the idea was to that i created was to or that we created was to make a crowdsourced parking app kind of similar to airbnb but with parking spots and then for another hackathon the theme was being locked indoors during a pandemic and then we created a social media app that promotes gardening and then some more stuff for canada day we did something related to indigenous territory and then for mental health during covid19 we made like a meditation app that filters positive news about covid19 so as you can see, like the idea goes really well in hand with the theme. And once you create your idea, I want you guys to really do the same thing what I've written out here. Write down the theme and then write down your idea and see how well they're correlated with each other. And if you're able to describe your app in just like one blurb, like what I did right there, you know, each of these ideas are just like one sentence long, right? So if you're able to describe your app in one sentence, and it fits perfectly with the theme, then you're set because, well, it's simple and it's already theme relevant and it's probably gonna be tech relevant as well, right from the bat. So this is something that you can definitely use to help with your idea creation as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys were able to learn something new from this workshop. I wanted to keep it as short as possible because I didn't wanna to take too much time from you guys. So hopefully this will help you create your own idea Feel free to take any notes, replay the video if you want. And um, I'm excited to see all of you, all of your uh, exciting ideas and products um, in the Discord later. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the Discord. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Have fun.